God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Good afternoon, St. Therese family. Good afternoon, Mr. Day. Good afternoon, Mrs. Day. Thank you so much for coming back to Assembly. It's Thursday afternoon of week 26, and we have just one more day of this school week, and that day is going to be is going to start off with some amazing events. We have mass with our second grade leaders. We have our trimester two awards celebrations with our homerooms, and we also have report cards going home. And yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, so let's wear green one more time to remember our Irish heritage and maybe our pseudo-Irish heritage for some of us. Next week, we are looking forward to another great week of learning. There's no extra events happening next week, next week. Um, but after school on Friday, it is scheduled to be a fish fry. So look in the Friday newsletter with your parents to see how you can order um, some amazing catfish for dinner next Friday night. Today is the last day we'll talk about this SLE in assembly. Maybe you're still talking about it in your homerooms because it's really good problem solving to think about how to solve problems, right? So we are respectful and compassionate community members who speak truth with love and resolve conflicts peacefully and justly. So we've talked about truth, we've talked about love, and now I want us to think about Sometimes we are in a conflict and we just part ways and and call it done. But perhaps there's not fully peace and perhaps there's not fully justice for all. So that conflict doesn't really go away. We only know that our conflicts have been resolved when there has been some peaceful compromises and resolutions that are just for all people in the party involved. Peace and justice is the way to know that you have truly resolved your conflict. So we're gonna speak our truth with love in our hearts and minds and make sure we get to that resolution that is peaceful and just. Amen? Amen. Amazing. And Mrs. Day, isn't it thankful Thursday! Yeah, yeah, and I'm really thankful for the generosity of our third, fourth, and fifth grade students coming on to assembly and informing us about women in history during this Women's History Month. We are so thankful for all of our students learning about women's history in their classrooms, at home. Um, I know that there's a lot of women history in the media right now. God bless the women in our world who inspire us, and we are so thankful for all of you in our community. Let's go for our end of day prayer. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Please join me. Mulinye lia patiri, nelio moana, nelio moio, mutikiri vu. Amina. Good afternoon, dear Jesus. This day was for you. Continue to bless all we think, say, and do. We love you, God. Amen. Mulinye lia patiri, nelio moana, nelio mooyo, mutikirivu, amina. All right, all stars. And in honor of Women's History Month, we've been ending with a quote. Let's see who we have today. Our quote today is from Mary Cassatt, and she was an artist and painter in the Impressionist style, and she said, I think that if you shake the tree, you should be around when the fruit falls to pick it up. Oh, I like that. It kind of reminds me just don't be wasteful, right? All right, all stars, go out, resolve those conflicts with peace, justice, love in your heart and mind. Don't be wasteful, pick up the fruit that falls from the trees you shake. And remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us.